Okay, friends and neighbors, DK here with Mr. V. Hamps. We've got this uh, Fender Blues Deluxe uh, reissue thing here. And it's here. It was bought new at the store. Dude said it cuts out. The store said send it to the authorized repair center, which was out of state. They shipped it. Came back. I guess it still did the same thing. Shipped it out. It came back. And, uh, and he said it had some additional noise or whistling. I mean, this thing is hotter than a $2 pistol as far as volume goes. The only thing I get out of it is a hiss. I really don't get a whistle, and I think that's just amplification noise. There might be a little bit of a noisy tube, but tapping on it doesn't get me anywhere. So I'm like, why in the world is this thing cutting out? I mean, it seems to be amplificating. So I just decided to do the, you know, this. And give that a little wiggle and work my stuff. I'm going to try this with a few different cables, but I think we might be dealing with just the maybe the maybe the janky fender jacks. I'm not a billion percent sure, but I've gotten this thing to glitch out just by kind of wiggling my cable around in there. Oy vey. Of course, now maybe I can get it to do Yeah, this input jack has some real, real major jankiness about it. And these input jacks, there we go. It's losing ground. So we have really janky issues with these input connectors. I think that's actually what I'm up against, which is cool because I figured I was going to have to chopstick this whole thing, but I've gotten both symptoms, the big, ugly, nasty buzz in your face, and I've gotten the silent where's my sound kind of thing. I've gotten both out of this. So I'm thinking these are just janky, janky fender jacks, which is very plausible. Okay, we get to refilm this scene again because reasons. Okay, so anyhow, um, if we look at the input jacks on here, they're like these little miniaturized versions of a cliff jack. And I would love to just cut them off and put some legit switchcrafts on there. But that isn't going to fit. Um, it's going to obstruct with the board. The full size cliff won't fit. The Fender one they used in the 90s, which is probably worse, <laughs> won't fit. <laughs> so, what does one do? So I figured, well, since my only option is either to replace like, 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 like with like, or to try to clean these, so I went and got my Max Pro Contact Cleaner, sprayed it on my cable, and then just jammed it back and forth a whole bunch of times. And now our weird noise cutouts and or big bellowing lack of ground whatever experience we were experiencing we are no longer experiencing so my guess is is this amp it's got a copyright date of 2017 it doesn't mean that you know it's probably maybe a year old but even if it's a year old it might be two or three years old it might have sat in the store for a while and maybe built up a little bit of corrosion or got a couple of dust rabbits down that socket hole um, I have done the chopsticking process, which other technicians have explained this, so I don't know that I really need to. But when you've got an amplifier that, you know, has weird noise issues, you can take your little wooden stick and, you know, poke through and just rap on things, tap on things, tap on your tubes gently, just to look for any noise or bad connections. I can't find anything else. So we're going to just let this bake for a while. If there's any other issues, I'll let you know, but I think we're fine.